Hello everybody, this is Abraham with Nashark Computer Services. What we got here today is a liquid cooling system. Uh, I don't remember the manufacturer, but you might recognize the uh, logo, something. Stopped working, the processor was overheating, the system was shutting down, delivering really bad performance, and uh, the person took it to repair shops they couldn't determine what was going on well for me it was easy to know what was going on because liquid cooling system does not tell you that it works or not and you can hear I don't know how well it's you can hear the liquid swooshing inside let's take it apart uh, short solution I replaced it computer works fine don't know why people had problems determining that first I see this little port I'm thinking that's how you feel this system it's got a plug on it let's get the plug out by the way this came from a gaming system so person was double disappointed that nobody could fix it I don't know um, I don't know why this is easy stuff and oops, get out of here screwdriver all right we got a screw and we got a washer and we got some liquid. I'm gonna smell the liquid. I was expecting it to smell like alcohol. It doesn't smell. It smells like smells like dirt. That's what it smells like. Let's see. There is the liquid, and it is very milky. I don't know if you can see that. I would expect the liquid to be less milky, but. I guess I'm not the one putting the system, building this system. All right, let's close that up. That is nasty stuff in there. I don't think it's water. But it smells like, I don't know, smells ugly. Uh, some of the liquid cooling systems have the pump in here. In this particular situation, there is. this is not a pump. This is just a light. So it's really easy to mess this one up because you would assume that when you connect um, the connector to this part, uh, you assume that you're connecting it to the pump, where in this particular case, it's not a pump. Uh, uh, when I took it off and took it apart, I was quite surprised to find nothing, but I have seen pumps that don't have physical connection to the actual liquid. In other words, there could be a magnetic motor in here and a magnetic something on there, and that's how they connect, so the system is fully sealed. Not in this case. That's all there is, just some lights. So it's not critical to have that part connected. Um, another thing that's bad about the liquid cooling system is you can't really touch anything to feel if the processor is overheating. The only part that you can touch is in here and you can't get your finger there. Uh, your actual radiator is not gonna get hot. On this particular system, this is where the pump is. Let's take that apart and see if we can get to the pump. Oftentimes these screws are really, really tight in there. You gotta use the screwdriver that is properly matched with the type of a screw that you're using. These are Phillipses and they're I'm using <clears throat> PH1. That's what it says on my screwdriver. All right, we take off the first cover and we see this is something that I see all the time on fan motors. So this is definitely a motor. 
another four screws in here. Get those out. Uh, don't get me wrong, this system does feel solid. Uh, it's just that you can't really be sure that it's working or not. The only way to be sure is to um, um, run the presser diagnostics and when presser is overheating it doesn't take much for presser to overheat. Uh, this uh, particular one was shutting down before it would boot up. Uh, it's usually a straight indicator that the cooling system is malfunctioning. When I see a uh, liquid cooling, ooh, liquid comes out. There is the pump. Oops. So this thing spins, turns the liquid, and supposedly it goes from here to here. I don't quite like how it's done. Uh, this is not my uh, how I would have done it. A pump really needs to be in here. So you got the pipe going in, turning, going out. It's 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 changing the liquid, but I I'm not seeing how this is this is good. I don't see this as good system at all because uh, you have just a few veins connected to the pump. Uh, what are these doing then? Are they not connected? Uh, don't know. Uh, it's... I'm sure engineers have tried it and it must be working, but just from me looking at it, I don't like. You can see the milky liquid in there. Um, I do see particles in there. It, it, the whole thing is really, really looking nasty to me. I do not want this in my system when it works, okay? I don't know what's inside when it's actually operating. Now that it doesn't operate, I double doesn't want it, don't want it. Um, really, really <clears throat> nasty system. Let me just empty out some of this. Oh, let's put it away. Liquid. Ew. This comes off. Yeah, that comes out. Um, air cooled system is actually there isn't an air true 100% air cooled system there is always a liquid cooled system uh, you can see the veins in there that's coming out and veins that are coming in um, if these goes through go through then what's the point of moving just this why wouldn't liquid just circulate in here uh, don't know I'd have to take the whole thing apart to see if these are just here for show what's the point of having them for show so the system doesn't make sense to me uh, it might be oh I see how they did it this is separate so this uh, pipe either brings in or takes out the liquid and the rest of the stuff and I don't know I don't like how they did it it shouldn't be done this way a pump should be inside of a single pipe moving the liquid through big radiator, returning it back. Um, no, not, not a good system. Let me show you a good system. This, in my opinion, is the best system. Uh, this is also liquid cooled because inside of these pipes are is liquid and it gets pumped through. If this thing fails, number one, you see right away the fans aren't turning. You know, uh, if the fan isn't turning, the system has a problem. A uh, big problem with these systems is so sometimes people put the fan in correctly and they blow into each other. So be careful about that. Make sure that the fans are blowing one way. So if the fans aren't working, you see right away it's not working. If you think it's overheating, you can touch the actual pipes and feel the heat. So this, this system is a lot more, uh, I think, 
easier to troubleshoot than the liquid cold system. And this thing is massive. I want to say a couple of words about this thing. The liquid is the in there is a little bit tacky. Uh, I do feel so it might be some kind of version of antifreeze. Antifreeze is glycol. Glycol is sugar, so it usually becomes um, sticky when it dries. So my hands are a little sticky. I don't I don't sense any smell from it, so it doesn't have any smell. Um, just a little bit of a metallic smell from the system itself, but uh, there's no stink. Uh, I thought it uses uh, alcohol, but apparently not. It's, uh, it's using water, water-based something. Hopefully this helps somebody. If you have any questions, uh, ask them below. Give me a like, enjoy, subscribe, and save money.